Social these days I don't like talking You better keep walking Cause there ain't a lot we could say I promise my secrets is safe Ain't nobody taking my place You tell pretty lies And I see through your smile You got envy rolled all on your face Yeah Cause ever since me Yo, what's going on with your YouTube? Jumping Chris here We're coming back at y'all with another vid now what we have here today bam that's right and these are the air jordan 1 shadow 2.0 now when i say shadow 2.0 is that colorway in this gray isn't exactly like the og like these here these are the goat actually i actually love these things i actually wear these quite a bit because it just goes with everything and you see how the light color is it definitely has that smoke gray look to it oh it even does say smoke gray on there but for it to name it the shadow 2.0 i'm just kind of just a little disappointed the material wise and stuff like that and it just kind of it just doesn't go on par with the og that well perfect 2.0s were the core purples this is the og this is a 2.0 from last year now the material wise in that purple goes perfect with it now you want to compare these i just want to say is one thing about the shoe is that you know it's cool you know uh I, I like it you know it's nothing too crazy about them it's just one of those like shoes that, that you know it's cool it's nice i'm pretty sure these are gonna look great on feet these things are probably gonna go with a lot of fits and stuff like that but you know it's just one of those shoes that's not really high in demand at least it's not really high in demand for me either now with this suede here on the side the suede panels here it definitely reminds me a lot of the unc ones pair those with it now it's kind of similar like the suede is a little bit same similar material it just says buttery so that's pretty nice but the leather quality things is just you know it's, it's all right i mean i really don't know what else they could have done with the, the color blocking like how they could have made it look a little bit better but it's all good man i still think it's a dope looking shoe it looks great on feet too as well and just kind of goes with everything especially with this colorway now this shoe is set to release this weekend on i believe it's may 15th may 15th is basically going to be a release in everywhere and from what i'm hearing the stock number it's not looking too bad i think we're almost kind of done with that scene that era that we had with the whole shipping delay fiasco and stuff so i think all the pairs are in is looking pretty healthy so there should be a good amount of w's and i think stimmy's kind of ran out too so i think it's gonna be a decent amount of w's and i don't think the resale is gonna be all that crazy on these things but hey let's just go ahead let's get into this review real quick huh so let's take a quick little 360 of these things and like i said man they cool, man. They pretty nice. The one thing I want to talk about is this suede material onto the entire shoe. Now, it's actually pretty nice, man. It's pretty buttery. You guys can see. You can see the suede moving through. Like I said, it's basically the same material how it is like on the UNC one, and I was liking that. Just be careful because this is a light color on the suede, and I hate having it get all messed up and dirty and get scuffed up. So be very careful. Craftsman wise, because it is suede, you can kind of see a little bit of the glue stains. I know that the UNC ones were terrible on them. So, but luckily my pair is looking pretty decent. How's the leather quality? Now, if you guys can see, it's just that nice smooth leather and ain't nothing too spectacular, ain't nothing too crazy, you know, um, not tumbled or anything. So that's a little disappointment. And it's, it's smooth leather on the toe box here. You guys see the whole preparation too as well. And even on the side panels is, is, not, is that nice smooth uh, leather here. Ain't nothing too crazy about it. It does have like a little semi-gloss to it. So and move, on, move along, you guys can see you got that wing logo here on the heels. Move on the back of the heels too. Smooth leather on the top of the heel, on the heels. And is this, I want to say, is this the nice suede? buttery suede also on the nike swoosh here is also have that suede material same as how it is on, on the other sides too as well but it's you know it's pretty nice moving on to the laces here it is lace up on your first eyelid and it does come with your black flat rope laces and to the black nylon tongue here moving on to the top you do have that nike air tag on top it does come with an extra set of that you know smoke light gray and will i be swapping it probably not i think i'm gonna just keep it black just to keep it kind of simple but it definitely will pop off better with 
the gray laces. And then you have now your little black nylon sock liner here. And then inside the insole, as you guys see, you got that Nike Air inside the insole in gray. And then moving on, you have your white midsole here, your stitched in white midsole. And then on the bottoms, you do have that iconic Air Jordan 1 outsole, and it is in black, which I'm a big fan of because I don't think the, the black midsole will not get that crazy dirty. You guys have a little quick little review for the Shadow 2.0s. You guys let me know what you guys think about these things. Do you guys like them or not? Is it nice and cool? You know, like I said to me, it's okay. It's just an okay shoe. Now, I don't think there's gonna be that high of a demand on these things. One is just, like I said, it's just kind of regular to me. You know, it's just maybe some people don't like the color blocking or maybe that sway, people's not really feeling it. Or it's just because it's just, just plain black and gray shoe, you know? Ain't nothing crazy, no, not crazy leather or anything like that, but it is an Air Jordan 1. So just because it's not that crazy demand, these things, yes, they will sell out. And yes, people will buy these things up and there will be resale to be made. But I don't think it's gonna be like previous uh, releases, like how I think we're just so used to it. all Air Jordans going for like over $400 or something crazy like that. Nah, I think these things day one are gonna be around that high 200s in maybe low 300s. I don't think any cre anything crazy, but still, it's pretty decent. You know, it's definitely still pretty profitable, especially if you can guys get a couple pairs on release day. And then once it's all said and done, I seen this shoe probably being by like a 250 or something like that. And that's kind of normal now. It's start we're starting to get kind of back to normal. I feel like like how shoes used to be. Not every shoe should be worth 400 and 350 plus you know we're starting to get things back to normal i think stimmies are running low so not everyone trying to buy up all these pairs and like you know spending crazy amount of resale price on these shoes and also because it's not i don't think it's just all that crazy hype like how it is with like a unc1 or a hyper royal and so on and so forth and i don't I, hopefully the release is not gonna be that bad either like as in like shipping delays and cancellations and stuff like that it just caused a big panic and a big mess so Hopefully everything goes right and everything goes through. And hopefully a lot of people are actually able to get a pair for retail, you know? Not everything should resell, but I get it, it's Air Jordan 1. There's gonna be still be some problems. I think also too could could be is that there's supposed to be another release for the Hyper Rolls. Could be this week or next week. I know Finish Line is happening this week. So that kind of maybe takes away from the whole excitement or just like kind of attention on the shadow 2.0s that could be it too as well i don't know or also because there's just been so many freaking releases <laughs> you know i feel like it's been like two three releases every week now so it's hard to keep up but still air jordan one don't sleep put your work in i think you'll be fine but hey that's pretty much the end of the video guys hope you guys enjoyed it you guys let me know what you think about these shadows 2.0 are you gonna be cop them or not do you want it for personal or just not really feeling it but hey I appreciate y'all, love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on my social media at Chris on IG. Sometimes I'm on Twitter and don't forget Snapchat. Anyway guys, appreciate y'all, love y'all. I'm Jumpman Chris. Peace.